If you're thinking of moving to Fairfield, California, you're gonna wanna watch this video. We are in beautiful Gold Ridge in Fairfield, California. We're gonna cover everything you need to know about this neighborhood, from the home features, to the neighborhood, to what you can expect on the inside and outside of these homes, and of course, the price. Of course. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, I am Lily Ratliff. I am Brandon Ratliff. And we are a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California who specialize in Solano County. Yes, Lily and I have been living in Solano County for over 10 years now. We've been helping people just like you buy, sell, invest, and relocate here in Solano County. We absolutely love it. We do. So whether you're thinking of moving the next 90 days or 90 days, we want to be your go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. All right, but let's get at it. We wanted to show you the Gold Ridge community neighborhood here in Fairfield. So we are in Fairfield, but what's great about this area is you're close to Vacaville, but what brings a lot of families and people to this destination is because you are in Travis Unified School District, which is the number two school district in Solano County. And you are only about five miles away from Travis Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. But Lily's gonna jump on Google Maps, show you a little more about the area so you know what to expect. Let's go. Welcome to my Google Maps. Let's go ahead and get at it. We're gonna talk about the Gold Ridge neighborhood and its location, what that looks like for you as far as commuting to work, either to Sacramento or anywhere in the Bay Area, as well as the schools and then the shops all around. So first things first, you're gonna see, I have Fairfield right here. Uh, this here is Interstate 80. When you go east here, that's gonna get you to Vacaville, Dixon, Sacramento. When you go west out here, as I sort of scroll out, this is gonna take you to Vallejo, San Francisco, the entire Bay Area. But let's go ahead and talk about its location. You will hear us talk about this a couple of times throughout the video, that yes, this neighborhood is technically in Fairfield, but it's really on the outskirts of Fairfield and it's really, really close to South Vacaville. And in some instances, the shops, I would say, might be a little bit closer to you in South Vacaville than they would in Fairfield. This is Gold Ridge neighborhood. So it's very close to One Lake. That is a, another community. It's new construction homes. We have covered it. So if you want to learn more, you can do so there. Um, but this in itself, this is going to be the Gold Ridge community. And as you can see, let me go and just scroll out a little bit. You're kind of nestled, you know, right here, you're going to have hills around you. This is going to be a little bit flatter land. But if you go down Cement Hill, Manuel Campos, this is gonna be where your closest shops are to you when you're talking about grocery stores. This is also probably going to be the quickest way for you to get to Interstate 80. Um, so if you're trying to go, especially anywhere west or towards the Bay, you'll probably take Cement Hill Road, hit Manuel Campos, and then boom, you're on 80. But this will take you probably 15 minutes in the morning with commuter traffic, so just kind of factor that in there. If you're looking to go to Napa, I'd say that commute's gonna be about 35 minutes anywhere, like say Walnut Creek, probably like 40 minutes or so. And then to the city, I would say an hour or two, an hour and 15, it really just depends on the traffic and what time you're going there. Now, if you're looking to go to Sacramento, you might actually be able to take the back roads. It really kind of just depends on the traffic that day. But either way, it will be quite a ways to get to Interstate 80. And I would say that's probably the biggest disadvantage of this neighborhood. So if you wanted to get on through Vacaville, you take Peabody. Peabody hits Alamo. Alamo then hits 80. I will say there are a lot of lights on Alamo as well as Peabody and stop signs. So this could take up to 20 minutes if there is a really bad traffic and or if you're hitting all of the lights. Uh, but I would say minimum, it will take you 10 minutes to get to Interstate 80. Now, before we jump to schools, I did want to show you if you are going to be stationed at the Travis Air Force Base. This will be a fantastic location if you are looking to have a very minimal commute. It's probably one of the smallest ones you could have in the area. Let me just show you. I mean, you're going to take, right, you come out to Peabody or Cement Hill Road here, take Peabody down, and then boom, Travis Air Force Base is right there. And what's even cooler, if you want to go to the Bay Area and you're looking to take public transportation, we do have the Fairfield Vacaville Amtrak 
corridor here so you can go all the way to Sacramento um, and there is you know it takes you all along the Bay Area and if you're looking to get into the city it'll take you to a bus stop which will then take you to the Embarcadero station in the city so you do have those options and that's all going to be included in the ticket price so that's pretty cool uh, but now let me go ahead and show you these schools these schools are all going to be very close to you as well and you are in the Travis Unified School District now that is the number two rated school district in the entire Solano County and we do see a lot of people and families move to the Gold Ridge community or choose it for that reason. So let me go ahead and show you just how close those schools are. And they're all pretty much going to be right here in this pocket. So I would say a five to 10 minute commute, probably 10 with school traffic. But let me go ahead and show you. So your kids would be going to Center Elementary School that has a B plus rating on niche.com. Then your children would be going to Golden West Middle School, which has an A minus rating on niche.com. And then Vanden High School, which has an A rating on niche.com. So as you can see here, this little triangle, it is all very close to you. So if you're worried about having a long commute, well, you will not have that as you can tell. Again, Peabody is going to be a big road for you. Take Cement Hill or you can go and uh, get into the neighborhood. A big way here is that uh, Joseph Garavas Drive. That's a big uh, street through this neighborhood. So before we get back to the neighborhood, I did want to show you where the shops and hospitals are going to be. As I mentioned earlier, this is sort of in this gray zone of, is it Fairfield, is it Vacaville? I would say the closest grocery stores are going to be in Vacaville. You're just going to have a little bit more to you that's closer. I think Vacaville does a great job of having a lot of its shopping centralized, where as in Fairfield, you'll have a couple of shops close to you, but you'll also have a couple of shops on the far side of Fairfield, which could take 50 minutes to get to, depending on traffic. So if we're looking at Vacaville, you would just take Peabody, and the first shop you're gonna have here is going to be Lucky's, and then you also will have Walgreens. There's also going to be yet another grocery store right in here. You're going to have a Rayleigh's. And if you go a little bit further down Peabody, you will find you'll have a Costco and you'll also have Target just one stop down the freeway along with a Walmart Supercenter, a Sam's Club. You have a whole bunch of other stuff here as well as uh, Nugget Market, which is sort of like our Whole Foods or our premier grocery store and the Vacaville Premium Outlets. If you go right over the freeway, oh, you're gonna have the Nut Tree Shopping Center as well that has pretty much anything you could ask for. So that's what I mean when I say that Vacaville has a little bit more centralized shopping, so it might be a little easier for you. Now, if we go back to the neighborhood and kind of look at where Fairfield is and you know your shops there, your closest shops are going to be down Manuel Campos Road, right? You would take Cement Hill to Manuel Campos. And then right in here, you'll have a Lowe's, you'll have a Rayleigh's, you'll have some really good local restaurants that we love, such as um, Toto's and Vincini's Pizza. So definitely recommend you check those out. You will have a Walmart. Uh, it's gonna be right over here. But again, when you were talking about kind of maybe going to your Costco's uh, or even the Trader Joe's, they're gonna be a little bit further down the freeway. Um, this right here, that's where the Trader Joe's is. It's also where the Solano Town Center is, which is like the only mall we really have here in Solano County. So that we'll have a movie theater there. And you'll also have um, a Kaiser Permanente right there. So if you are with Kaiser Permanente, they are a major uh, organization, healthcare organization here in Northern California. This is sort of a uh, outpatient clinic. So Monday through Friday, they're open. Uh, if you need, if you're looking for a hospital, specifically a trauma hospital, that's going to be the Kaiser Permanente in Vacaville, which is going to be right over here. So from here, I would say you're gonna be about 15 minutes away, but that just kind of gives you some indication. So there you go, that is the Gold Ridge community as far as its location, the schools, the shops, your commute. Let's go ahead and hop back on the neighborhood and talk about the home features, the neighborhood features, what you can come to expect. Thank you so much, Lily, for jumping mm -hmm. on Google Maps and showing us around. You're amazing at that, I don't know how you do it, you're great. <laughs>
We are here now, we are walking Gold Ridge. We want to share, you know, what these features are like, what you could expect if you were to move here. Mm -hmm. So if we look at last year's numbers in 2023, 41 homes sold here. There were four bedrooms, two baths, around 2,200 square feet on a 5,000 square foot lot. And Brandon, where does that really compare when you're looking at you know, the typical home in Fairfield, California? So these homes are gonna be bigger than what you see in Fairfield, California, but you're gonna have a smaller lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most of these homes are gonna be two-story homes. If you're someone looking for the one-story single level, this is not gonna be the neighborhood for you. There yeah. are a few here and there. A few and far between. For, you know, prominently, they're gonna be all two-story. But the good news is that these homes are sort of in the middle ground between the typical resale and the new construction home in Fairfield. And what I mean by that is as far as the sort of features that they provide and when they were built, a lot of these homes were built in the early 2000s, 2010s. You know, some were as recent as 2019. They have some of those features that more new construction offers as far as open plan, the walk-in pantry, the laundry room upstairs. The loft space all of those things. Mm -hmm. However, they're not going to be commanding as high of a price as say another community like One Lake, which we did do a video on, but in order to get a single, you know, family residential unit there, it's going to cost you about $700,000. And that's not going to be the case in this neighborhood because they're just a little bit older homes. What else is nice about this neighborhood, right? We always see there's pros and cons to every neighborhood. This is a little secluded, kind of like One Lake where you're kind of five to 10 minutes away from, you know, either Fairfield or Vacaville, the major cities. However, you are secluded as far as you're surrounded by rolling hills. Right now it's springtime, it's March, so you can see, especially if you're on the outskirts this of this neighborhood. This is the prettiest it's going to be. Yes, if you're on the <laughs> outskirts of these neighborhoods, you can see a lot of the green rolling hills. So you do have that view, and what's nice about it is because you're a little more secluded, you're not going to have a lot of traffic coming in and out, right? It's right. not through traffic. Typically, the people coming in live here. Exactly. Right? So those are some of the things that you want to consider when you're looking at, you know, do I want to buy a home here? Is this the kind of neighborhood that I want? But as you can tell, right, not a lot of cars coming in and out of us, and that's because we are pretty much entrenched in the neighborhood at this point, and it's only people who live here that are coming. So another great part about this neighborhood is there's no HOAs here, mm -hmm. right? So you have the liberty to do what you want. However, you know, your homes are gonna be here, they're gonna be smaller lots. You are gonna be a little closer to your neighbors. You so if you are someone who wants privacy, wants your own space. A larger lot. A larger lot you're gonna to wanna to maybe look elsewhere. Mm -hmm. There are a couple, obviously, as there sort of is in a lot of those newer construction developments that have the larger lots, but be prepared to pay a premium for them. I will say because the lots are smaller, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily see a lot of pools here, but if you want more space in your home and you wanna be closer to Travis Air Force Base, right, the school, the Amtrak, right. this is going to be a perfect destination for you and you don't wanna pay, you know, over 700,000 Yes, homes are over 700000 here, but the median price home here when we looked at 2023 is about $650,000. So this neighborhood, Gold Ridge, really is a nice compromise between sort of that resale of those older homes in the 1980s versus that brand new construction home that's more expensive that was built, you know, within the last five years. So let's get into the home features. Don't get too mesmerized by the hills behind us. The They're main. absolutely gorgeous. Yes. But the home features. You're going to see a lot of two to three car garages here, mm -hmm. a lot of exterior stuff go finishes and you're gonna see roof tiles you know, gonna have a lot of pride of ownership here but the inside may not be as updated as you may like 2012 Everyone right watches 2000 HD. to 2010 right yeah it's not gonna be hgtv high gloss freaking <laughs> granite countertops <laughs> you know nice. coarse countertops here to get you know the blonde oak finishes you're gonna get the tile floors mm -hmm. tile countertops but things that we always stress to our clients we always say it's the bones of the home how does mm -hmm. the home feel how does the layout feel why because are things, these are things that we just cannot change. Those little things that Brandon was mentioning, the flooring, well maybe not so little, but you can rip that out and put in new floors. The cabinets, you can easily paint, right? And some of these homes have been updated. Right. Those are obviously going to go for a premium. Right. But I would say in general, these homes, they have been kept in good condition. You know, when we looked at the concessions of the homes that were sold in 2023, really minimal especially compared to other neighborhoods that we've seen in solano county so you know these homes are maintained well maybe not updated but they were maintained well so but that's it allows a buyer to give you know put your own feel your own, your own stamp. you know you don't, yeah modernize it in your own way that you'd like so again we're going to be in the middle of the neighborhood in a minute and we're going to show you a 360 about what mm -hmm. you can expect you hear some airplanes above us you're next to travis air force base you're going to yes, get you that are. here 
So if you are someone who wants quiet, this is not going to be the neighborhood for you. Yeah, and I wouldn't say it's as noisy by any means. In a way, because this neighborhood is so secluded, you do have a little bit more serenity. But yes, you will get some air traffic here to here. And if you're looking around and you're thinking, these homes seem a little tight to me, right? There are other subdivisions in Fairfield or even Vacaville for that reason. We're talking South Vacaville uh, neighborhoods like Foxborough, Westgate, mm -hmm. or even Paradise Valley or Rolling Hills right. in Fairfield where they're a little bit closer to the cities, the shops, right? But they're also going to be a little bit more expensive, but you'll <laughs> have bigger lots. So there are a lot of different options in Fairfield, in Vacaville, around this area that are also still in the Travis Unified School District. But if you want to learn more, just go check out any of the videos that we did on any of those neighborhoods and you'll just learn a little bit more. Okay, so let's talk about numbers here. Let's talk about the pricing. Now the homes here, again, median price point is around $650,000. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for homes that in that seven to 800,000, those are gonna be your bigger square foot homes, bigger lots, everything's gonna be a little more premium. Mm -hmm. However, if you're looking just to get your foot in the door, get in the area, get to a good school district, you can find homes in that $600,000 range. It's gonna be a little bit smaller, yep. smaller lot, and a little bit of an older home, right? right. Uh, any of those homes under 650, they typically tend to be in the like the earlier phases of the development. We're talking 2003, 2006. There are some homes here, right, that are 2019, but even those at about 2,000 square feet, they'll be about $50,000 more because, well, they're about 15 to 20 years newer than those other homes. So those are some things to keep in mind. And as far as other costs in the neighborhood, some homes here on the perimeter do, you know, abut against the hills. Mm -hmm. So you may want to get homeowner's insurance before putting in any offers. Or at least a quote for a it, A quote right? for it, right. Just to be mindful, just to kind of be ahead of the game so you know what to expect as far as your final, your final payment, your final mortgage. Yeah, so for those of you that aren't familiar with our area, right, we do have hotter summers here and mm -hmm. Insurance in general in California has become more of a problem because of wildfire risk and because this neighborhood in itself is sort of, as Brandon mentioned, you can kind of see nestled. Like, yes. yes, show them, Brandon. The hills are right there, like nestled we said. Nestled into the hills. When it starts to get into that summertime, those become or that yellow. green fades, yeah, it gets really dry out there. Mm -hmm. You know, it can happen. And as Brandon mentioned, it really just, just depends on you know, where within the neighborhood, if you're on the perimeter versus a, are you on the interior of the neighborhood, mm -hmm. will determine your fire risk. Mm -hmm. But just something to mention for you to consider. And other considerations to think about is, you know, we did mention this before, you're a little more secluded in this area, mm -hmm. right? You know, right when you step out of here, you have the main road there, or Peabody. There's not a whole lot as far as shopping. Yeah, like immediately, immediately outside, outside here, you're kind of in your own zone. We mentioned it before, it's kind of nice, it's a little quieter, but do you want to be two minutes away from kind of where the city is? The hustle and bustle. Yes, that's going to be, you know, a lot of times we've shown other people and clients from other areas, you know, they come to One Lake, which is right across the street, and to here and they're like, you know, it's just a little bit more secluded than I thought it was going to be. I wanted to have more proximity to the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, five, 10 minutes away, it's not that big of a deal. It just depends on what you're looking for. But maybe it's a trade-off for you because you want to be next to the Travis Unified School District mm -hmm. and next to the Amtrak. If you do, you know, do a lot of remote work, you need to go to the office one or two days out of the week, mm -hmm. you have that luxury of everything being, you know, in close proximity to you. Yep. Or if you're stationed at Travis Air Force Base and you're like or, five minutes yeah. from work. That's a beautiful community. That part's mm -hmm. really nice as well. I mean, we literally <laughs> just saw another kid walking home from school because the schools are that close. So yes, another thing, you are gonna have bus stops here. Mm -hmm. You know, there are designated spots for buses pick up for Golden West Middle School and uh, Vanden High School. So, so these are all some things that you wanna consider, but overall, as you can tell, Goldridge, really awesome community. You're in a top rated school district. You're next to a lot of things. Honestly, you're about five to 10 minutes away from either Vacaville or Fairfield. I mean, I would say Vacaville is a little bit closer, but say you go 10, 15 minutes into Fairfield, you're going to have access, as I mentioned on the Google Maps, to malls, hospitals, Trader Joe's, shopping. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot at your fingertips here, but I would say you definitely would want to have a car. I mean, I went to Vanna High School which is a hop, skip, and jump away, like we've been saying. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the friends that I went to school with, they lived in this neighborhood. And I can only imagine their parents moved here yep. because school is literally right there. There you go.
So that was our video on the Gold Ridge subdivision here in Fairfield, California. Hope that gave you a little bit more insight of what to expect in terms of the neighborhood and in price. We do put a lot of effort into making this helpful for you. So much effort and time. <laughs> but it's so fun and we enjoy it and we appreciate your feedback. We do. And if you live in this area and you are watching this video, let us know what you enjoy about the area. Yes, or don't enjoy. That's or just, don't enjoy because just as valuable. a lot of people that move here that we're helping from the channel, it really helps them kind of dial in mm -hmm. on what's important, what are the pros and cons, specifically for someone living in the area. We appreciate you watching, and we wanna be of help to you. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. But until the next video, Ratless, Alex, out. out. So you should be gonna get a big, okay. <laughs> We just talk <laughs> English and slower. So we're gonna get a bigger house here. Yeah. Well. You're gonna get some three car garages. A lot of the outside exterior is gonna be stucco. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get dogs barking. Everyone has dogs, right? <laughs> very common. Enough people. I mean, it is not kind of why you move to a suburban area. You want the space, the outdoor space. You wanna have your pets. No HOA, I can do what I want. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? No HOA, but as you can tell, <laughs> no purple houses in the background. No purple houses. Okay.